Hi, boys and girls. Well, this month, April, is National Poetry Month. And we talked a little bit about that last week. And we worked a little bit with rhyming words. So I thought we would do that again, because when we're first learning about rhyming words, it's kind of fun. So we have several ways that we're going to go through some rhyming words today. And I want to remind you that rhyming words are words that sound alike. That doesn't mean that they have the same letter at the beginning of the word, but the word is, sounds alike, okay? So let me go through some examples. And once again, I'm going to move my computer screen so you can see the examples better, okay? All right, so first of all, this is a ball of yarn. And one word that rhymes with yarn is barn, yarn, barn. And if you look closely, and this doesn't always happen, but if you look closely at these two words, you can see the A, the R, and the N are the same in both words. We've just changed the first letter. So yarn and barn, they sound alike, they rhyme. Oh, and here we have a mouse, all right? And a rhyming word for mouse is house. Oh my goodness, listen, mouse, house, mouse, house. They sound alike, don't they? But the first letter in these words is not the same. All the other letters in these two words are, but not the first two. And they rhyme because they sound alike. All right, then I have tree. And a rhyming word for tree is bee. Tree, bee, tree, bee. They sound alike. In these two words, the E-E -E in both of those words are the same, but the T-R for tree and the B for B are the differences, but they sound alike, tree, B. So they are rhyming words. Oh, now I have a boat. And a rhyming word for boat is coat, boat, coat. Listen carefully, boat, coat. And if you look at these words, the B and the C at the beginning are different, but then the rest of the letters in each of those words are the same. But these two words sound alike, boat, coat. So they rhyme. Oh, what's this? Is this corn? Corn. And a rhyming word for corn is horn. Oh my goodness. Corn, horn. Corn, horn. They sound alike. Once again, the C and the H at the beginning of the words are different, but the O, R, N, those letters are found in both words. So they sound alike. Corn, horn. Because they sound alike, they are rhyming words. Oh, uh, what is this? Is this a bell? And then this is a shell, bell, shell, bell, shell. So with these words, they sound alike, but the B and the SH at the beginning of the words are different. But then we have ELL, ELL -L in both words. They sound alike, bell, shell, bell, shell. So they rhyme. Ah, what number is this? Is that two, two? and shoe rhyme, two and shoe. All right, in this case, we don't have words that are spelled alike at all, but they sound alike, two, shoe. And I know that they rhyme. Huh. Another check I have on that is my puzzle pieces fit together. They sound alike, they rhyme. Okay, one more set, a ring and, oh, what is this? Swing, ring, swing. They sound alike, they rhyme. R at the beginning of ring, SW at the beginning of swing. Those are different, but then we have ING, ING. Those are the same. So ring, swing, sound alike, they rhyme. And did you see how none of those examples had the same letter at the beginning of both words? They sound alike but they have different letters at the beginning of both words. All right, I'm gonna clear those out and then we're going to do something else, which is kind of fun. 
we have a flip book here of rhyming words, and this is the way it works. We're going to start with this picture. This is hat. Then we have to flip these pictures until we find a word that rhymes with hat. So hat, mop. Do those rhyme? Hat, mop. They don't sound alike, do they? And we have hat, cat. Oh, hat, cat sound alike. Oh, well, that's great because now we have to rhyme three words. Hat, cat, bug. Does that sound alike? No. Hat, cat, top. No. Hat, cat, log. No. Hat, cat, rat. <gasps> they sound alike. So those three rhyme. Okay. Now I'm going to flip these two back. And then I'm going to flip this one next. And now we have frog. Now we want to find words that rhyme with frog. So frog, mop. Does that rhyme? No. Frog, cat. No. Frog, rug. No. Frog, dog. <gasps> Those two rhyme. Okay. So now that we have these two rhyming, now we have to find the third rhyme, rhyming picture here. Frog, dog, bug. No. Frog, dog, top. No. Frog, dog, rat. No. Oh, Mrs. Becker skipped one somewhere. Frog, dog, log. Frog, dog, log. <gasps> they rhyme. Excellent. All right. Flip these two back. I'll keep going with this one. Whoops, I skipped one again. What sign is this? Stop. Okay, stop. Now we have to find the rhyming picture here. Stop, mop. Stop, mop. <gasps> They sound alike. Boy, we can keep that one. Now we have to go over here because we want to find the third rhyming picture. Stop, mop, bug. No. Stop, mop, top. <gasps> oh no, let's say it again. Stop, mop, top. Yay! All three of those rhyme. All right, flip this back. That didn't take very long, did it? All right, this is a mug. All right, mug. We have to find words that rhyme with mug. So we have mug, mop. Nope, they don't sound alike. Mug, cat. No. Mug, rug. <gasps> mug and rug rhyme. So now we have to have the third picture. Mug, rug, bug. <gasps> Are you kidding? Right away, rug, mug, bug. Ah, they rhyme. And then we're done with the whole thing. Once we get done with this pile, we're done with the whole thing. Are you up for some more challenging words? Let's try one more set. All right, this gets a little trickier. This is a can, okay? And we have to find words here or a word here that rhymes with can. Okay, this arrow is pointing to this color. What color is that? Red. All right, so can and red. Does that sound alike? No. Can, fan, can, fan. <gasps> Those two rhyme. Now we have to figure out what the third picture is that joins these two for rhyming. Can, fan, and this is grin. Oh boy. Mm. Can, fan, grin. Oh, that doesn't rhyme. What picture is this? This is a knot. Can, fan, knot. No. All right, this is a man. Can, fan, man. <gasps> Listen again. Can, fan, man. <gasps> ah, all three of those rhyme. Okay, remember, we put the, these two back, and then we take this one and go to the next. All right, this is a chin. Chin. Chin red. Does that rhyme? No. Chin fan no. Chin hot? No. Boy, we're not even close, are we? Chin oh, pin. Chin pin. Oh my goodness, that rhymes. Now we have to figure out here. We have to get another picture here that rhymes. Chin pin grin. Oh, chin 
pin grin. Oh my goodness, that was easy. We have all three of these that rhyme. All right, remember we put these back. Oh my goodness, what is this? That's a bed, isn't it? So now we have bed, red, bed, red. Oh my goodness, that's a rhyme. Now we need to find the third rhyming picture here. Bed, red, grin. No. Bed, red, not. No. Bed, red, man. No. Bed, red, sled. Oh, that's a rhyme. Bed, red, sled. All of those rhyme. Excellent. All right, I'll put that one back. Let's see, I think we have another picture here. Okay, this is a pot, all right? So now we have pot and red. Did those rhyme? No. Pot, fan. Do those sound alike? No. Pot, hot. <gasps> pot, hot, that rhymes. Okay, now we have to get our third picture over here. Pot, hot, grin. No. Pot, hot, not <gasps> pot, hot, not all three of those rhyme. Yay. And I think we did it. We got them all. You guys, we did a great job. So remember rhyming words sound alike and it's tricky. If you are going, Mrs. Becker, I don't understand. It's okay. But if you are, I get it. That's awesome. And remember, if you don't understand yet, you will. You'll get there. All right, boys and girls, thanks for helping me with rhyming words. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.